I clicked okay. it. So, who here has played video games? Raise your hands. Oh my god, you guys are amazing. I love you all. Okay, um, <laughs> online games? Anybody? Online? Yes, yes. Alright, so, you know, online games are like really popular now. They haven't been much of a thing, like, more than 15 years, I'd say. Uh, so, I always find it important to go back to the roots of where it all began, thus, the history of video games. Um, so in this speech, I'm going to address the first game made, the uh, a few lawsuits, and a, a near death to the early gaming industry. So you know, you might want to be like, "Why well, trust me? You know, what do I know about games other than the fact that I played them?" So I'll let you know that I've I've played a few, played a few uh, video games. You know, just a bit. Here's some of the ones I've played. <laughs> Just a few. Not much. I promise. I have a life. Wow. So, that's <laughs> um, uh, The first game created was by Alexander S. Douglas. He created Knots and Oxes, which was basically the tic tac toe. Uh, it was the first digital graphical computer game, and it was the first player versus computer, and it was originally designed for academic purposes, where it was to study the interaction between humans and computers. That was in 1952. Then in 1958, Tennis for Two was created by William Higginbotham, and it was technically the first video game made that was actually for entertainment purposes, not for any other reasons. In the 1960s, in 1962, Space War was created by C. Russell. It was a game where you were two, there were two ships and they would orbit the point and you basically had to shoot each other and, you know, shoot the other guy, you win. In 1967, the Brown Box was created by Ralph Baer, aka the father of video games. It was only a prototype, so it wasn't considered the first console. That is, until in the 70s, the Brown Box became the Odyssey when it was licensed by Magnavox. Uh, the same year, Pong was the first arcade video game created by Atari, and Pong was heavily inspired by one of the games in the Odyssey. In 1975, Atari released a home version of Pong, but because of that, Atari got hit with a lawsuit. Magnavox sued Atari for copyright infringement, and, but Atari ended up set settling and became an Odyssey licensee. Magnavox, for the next 20 years, would continue to make more than $100 million in copyright -like lawsuits. That's a lot of money. Throughout the 70s and 80s, a lot of games were created. This is like a really hot point for the gaming industry. Uh, in 1977, Atari releases the Atari 2600, the first home console that they created. 1978, Space Invaders in Arcade was released. 1979, third party company Activision launches. 1980, Pac Man is first introduced to the US. 1981, Donkey Kong is created, which is the first introduction to Mario. And in 1982, Microsoft's first flight simulator released. In the 80s, from 1983 to 1985, the video game, a video game crash occurred where a supply of games would far exceed demand and a lack of demand. More slides in the next de uh, more details in the next slide. In 1985, Nintendo revitalized the gaming industry with the NES system, also known as the Nintendo Entertainment System. In 1989, because of the success of the NES, uh, Nintendo will release the Game Boy. Now about the video game crash, a lot of companies were overhyping games that were lacking, so they would advertise this great game and then it would just be like, you hit something and that's it. Um, so they failed to advertise honestly and it became quantity over quality, so people started losing faith in the industry and just failed in sales. Uh, throughout the 90s, uh, due to the success of the NES as well, the SNES was released. That was the oldest console I could have played. I love it. I have a lot of memories with it. Um, the Genesis also uh, released Sonic the Hedgehog, which would release into a whole new franchise. And in 1980, 1993, Sega would create the video game rating console, which would later lead to the creation of the entertainment software rating board, the ESRB, which is the little rating you see at the bottom corner. So game boxes. Takeaway is that the beginning, Douglas created Knox and Oxus in 1952. 
Atari got sued by Magnavox in 1974 due to copyright, and Magnavox would continue to uh, sue companies. And the video game industry almost died early in the 80s if it wasn't due to Nintendo vitalizing it with NES. So, what I like to call to action, as I would say, uh, is um, think about how, where the gaming industry would go in the future, seeing as how this is the past of it, to acknowledge where else it would go in the future. And next I have a video that I viewed in an accident of the Nintendo consoles because it was the only video that was less than five minutes that I could find. <laughs>